My daughter Hannah is completely dependent on us for everything. She can't walk, she can't feed herself, she's nonverbal. Raising a child with a physical disability is dramatically different from raising typical children and um, the equipment makes some things possible that otherwise would be completely impossible. What I learned over time is how differently um, Hannah's learning style is because she can't move through space independently. Many of the children that Adaptive Design works with, really, they only have a physical disability. They are perfectly healthy cognitively, emotionally, and could do anything that any other child could do if they were able to manage it physically. However, society often then ends up just looking at kids who can't do something physically and relegating them to point of, well, they also aren't up there with us cognitively or emotionally. And that is really, really damaging to the child. And when a little bit of equipment, whether it is a foot rest, whether it's a neck rest, whether it's a hand rest, can help the child then be at the table with their peers, it makes a huge difference in the child's development. Although she's nonverbal, she's cognitively fairly able, so the trays have been very important for when she goes to school, her ability to focus and feel successful. The term disability almost instantaneously suggests a cognitive impairment, and we're really, our rampage is against that, that how dare we assume that, and we must provide children with whatever modifications, because budgets are tight, there's, there's a real disconnect between kids' capacity and our, our offering them the adaptations they need. Our concern is that many children may have a single adaptation, a wheelchair, maybe a, a, a cane, but they don't have the adaptations that they really need to do what they want. For those who look at cardboard and say, well, well, that's just junk, we look at it and see it as a material that someone with a very high level of skill can, can make art, can make furniture, can make equipment out of. What this course was able to do is allow us to design our own equipment specific for each child for a more limited budget. So they have a set of tools now that is far more sophisticated than ordering out of a catalog. Most other people want to sell you equipment. Adaptive design sells you information. And information is more valuable than equipment. What's unique about adaptive design is that everything's custom made. You actually take an individual child, you figure out what it is that you want to do, and then you build a piece of equipment that's designed just for that child. No one else does that. She looks at the ceiling. This is all she knows all day. Doesn't have enough of control on her own to maintain any uh, level of function. So it'll support her neck, keep her from going, what we call hyperextending back, being on level with her peers. The equipment um, dramatically improves her quality of life, her sense of independence, her sense of herself, her pleasure, you know, simply in the rocking chair, the amount of pleasure she takes from the movement and being able to do that herself. To have a child's feet touch the floor in just the right way will improve everything about their day. It improves their, their ability to use their arms, to write, to feed, to breathe, to digest. So all these little adaptive things that we can do to put them in better positions just helps everything about them.